We will be your assembly leaders today. We're so happy to be with you today. We're filming this from St. Cuthbert's First School in Berwick. We are the most northly Catholic school in England. We're excited to tell you about a very special letter from Pope Francis. He is challenging us to turn the world upside down and build a better world based on love and friendship. You might think we already do that, but Pope Francis shows us how to build a better world based on fraternal love. Let's watch this animation to find out what that means. Fratelli Tutti, brothers and sisters all, is a letter from Pope Francis urging us all to build a better world based on fraternal love. In the letter he writes, for years it seemed that we had learned a lesson from our many wars and disasters, and we were working together towards a shared dream for the future of our global family. Overcoming divisions and working towards peace. But we have allowed dark clouds to form over our shared dream, and things are now beginning to go backwards. We are growing distant from one another, seeing others as competitors or enemies. We are building a culture of walls, walls of the heart and walls on the land, that stop us from meeting with other people and other cultures. And even though our world is becoming more connected, we have stopped listening to one another. We interrupt and disagree with what others have to say before they've even finished saying it, denying people the right to have a different opinion. We have stopped seeing each other as sisters and brothers. This is why a new way is needed. It is a time to dream a new dream. A dream where we no longer see each other as competitors or enemies, but as part of a single global family where we treat everyone as a sister or brother. Fraternal love means caring for every man and woman, young and old, with the same care as the Good Samaritan, who refused to walk by and ignore the injured man, as other people had done. He saw the injured man not as an outsider, but instead as a brother. Fraternal love goes beyond all boundaries, calling us to reach out and to help others in need no matter how far away they are, or which group of people they belong to. We cannot ignore suffering. We cannot allow anyone to go through life as an outcast. In the face of suffering, our only way forward is to act like the Good Samaritan. No longer asking, who is my neighbor? But instead, becoming neighbors to all, bending down to touch and heal the wounds of others. In the depths of every heart, love creates bonds and draws us out of ourselves and towards others. Fraternal love shatters the walls that keep us separate. In their place, it builds bridges and treats everyone as a neighbor. Let us ask God to prepare our hearts to encounter our brothers and sisters. Let's create a culture of encounter. This means that we approach, speak, listen and come to know and understand one another in all our diversity. If we are to build a better world, we cannot build this dream alone. We need to dream together. To work for the good of everyone, respecting the human dignity of every person and changing the conditions that cause so much suffering. We need to think of ourselves more and more as a single family living in a common home. Each of us bringing the richness of our faiths and beliefs. Each of us with our own voice, brothers and sisters all. Signed, Pope Francis. Francis tells us that fraternal love means caring for our brothers and sisters, no matter who they are 
or where they are from. After all, we are one global family living here on Earth, our common home. Did you recognise the story of the Good Samaritan? Jesus gives us this example of a person who reached out to help somebody in need, even though he was a stranger and not part of his community. This is fraternal love. We are all called to bend down and heal the wounds of others. In other words, to be loving neighbours to all. Carford works with schools like ours to build a world where everyone can live life to the full and be the best person they can be. A world where everyone has enough to eat, water to drink and a safe place to live. A world where children can go to school and have medicine if they are sick. Carford works with all people, boys and girls, men and women, young and old, whatever their faith or race. Let's watch a film about Cavod's work with children and families in South America. Here is Venezuela. From here, migrant families travel from Venezuela to Peru, dreaming of a better life. The capital of Peru is Lima, and in the north of Lima, you find the district of San Martín de Porres. Here is Rami Wasi. Rami Wasi does many different activities where boys, girls and young people from Peru and immigrants in the community get to know each other and integrate. Migrating has not been easy for us. I will tell you a bit of my story. When I arrived in Peru, I missed home. I miss my friends, brother, father and all my family. But we have to give it time because I know that I will return with my family. We arrived here with many expectations without knowing how people were going to react, especially the mums more than the children. But they've always treated us well from the beginning. My family and I came from Iquitos, from the forest. At church, I met Nicole. She's so kind. I used to say to all my Venezuelan friends that they are so friendly, that I look forward to seeing them. I started to make more friends, and from there, I started to get used to being with them. Although I always think about Venezuela, I also like being here in Lima, because in Wormiwasi, I have made new friends. Yes, we are different, even if we come from different countries. We can lend a hand, we can get to know each other better and make more friends from different countries. Since we arrived at Wormiwasi, everything is much nicer because they accepted us as we are and we love all of them. As we saw in the film, children are making new friends. They are learning about one another and discovering all the things they have in common. One of the girls said, Even if we come from different countries, we can lend a hand. We can get to know each other. Let's hear our children in schools around England and Wales are being good neighbours. to love one another and care about each other. How have we done this? We came one was by looking after our planet. By recycling and saving water and saving energy. We looked after those less fortunate than ourselves. By giving food to local food banks. During lockdown we worked hard in our home and at home to look after God's work. 
We plant the trees and ask you for your oats. Let more clean air and oxygen can be created. Each year we watch Pope Francis Lodato see message in assembly. He asks us to care for our common home, which is something we do here in St. Ambrose. Mary's family support Catherine in a variety of ways. During, during harvest time, we dress up in bright colours and donate money to help the poor around the world. All of them only donated helps us support Catherine. During Lent, we have different themes each Friday, such as wearing green for St. Patrick's Day, silly hair day and pyjama day. Throughout the year, we collect donations for the local food bank so that we can help those in need. be a good friend, I need to listen to other people and before I say anything I always check is it kind, is it true and do I need to say it? To be a friend you need to respect others and, and treat others as you would like to be treated yourself. Because kindness can spread around you forever. I think Joseph, we are inspired by Christian values to look after our world of today and tomorrow. We encourage everyone to be active and responsible citizens to take care for our community and the environment. We have done things to help Cafod and the wildlife around us by doing a school run, a mafty day, and planting all these flowers for, for wild bees. We have also been making, re we have also been using re plastic to make projects to help the earth and to help with all this pollution to stop it. Hello from Ray Crossfit. We all love raising money for cathars, so when we hear that people across the world still don't have clean water, we knew we had to help. We would have to think how we could do it through these COVID times. Hey, we know! Let's bring in donations and do what we love, all put on our wellies and trainers and walk around our big field. We had fun, learned about Cafod's work, raised a lot of money to help Abdella and friends. Yes! Throughout Lent, when I was learning from home, I supported Cafod's Walk for Water campaign by encouraging my whole school family, as well as my own family, to join the big Walk for Water. I thought about, my, I thought about the differences in how I get water and how Abdella gets water. I wondered if this was fair and thought about how we could help him. In this way, we could share with one another our love from our brothers and sisters around the world. The chaplaincy team wanted everybody to hear our prayers and know that it was important to think not just of ourselves, but of the whole world. It was great to be able to share them with our families and friends in school. We put our prayers on our class prayer tables. Pope Francis has asked each one of us to care for our common home. The Eco Committee are on a mission to reduce the amount of plastic and energy waste within our school. We have researched plastic pollution and led a whole school collective worship. We are from Holy Family Catholic School in Swindon, and our mission statement is Hand in hand in God's own family, we will dream and learn, growing into the best we can be. This year we had the opportunity to fulfil with Catholic's help as we had had the chance to tell the UK government how we would like their support in looking after the planet and our neighbours around the world through the Eyes of the World campaign. In school we discussed our changing environment and the poorest communities and how there are small changes we can make to have a huge impact such as walking, scooting or cycling to school Turning off the lights and closing doors. Cut our use of plastic and recy recycling wherever possible. At Hobby Family, we think of how Jesus said, Love one another as I loved you. For Francis urges us to remember we have a common home in which we are one family. So when one suffers, we all suffer. We sent our petitions to John Lynch Street, urging them to listen to our voices as we have the power to change the future with God's guidance, we will succeed. 
we we were met with the response from them. It is really encouraging to see young people like yourselves thinking hard about the future of our planet, the impact of climate change, and the actions the UK government is taking to tackle against it. We hope this will lead to change for our environment, our neighbours and our future. Thank you. It was fantastic to see these examples of love in action. Another way we can reach out and show love is by holding people around the world in prayer. Let's say this prayer from Pope Francis together. Lord, Father of our human family, you created everyone equally. Pour into our hearts a spirit of fraternal love. Move us to build a better world. A world without hunger, poverty, violence and war. May our hearts be open to all peoples and nations of the earth. May we see the goodness and beauty that you have sown in each of us, so that we can join together with shared dreams. Amen. Telly Tutti into action, be a good neighbour. There are so many ways to show love for our neighbours. At our school, we often collect for local food bank. Set up a Catholic club at your school. Learn about global issues and take action to help build a brighter world. Learn about the world. Did you like the film about children in Venezuela and Peru? Meet more children from all over the world by visiting Cafford's Kids Zone website. Take action with Cafford. Join Eyes of the World, Cafford's new climate campaign. Our bishops wrote a letter asking us to all join the campaign and stand up for people suffering because of climate change. money, brighten up or take a walk and the money you raise in the fun fundraiser will help the work we have heard about today. Let's all make a promise to show how we will listen to others and be kind this week. We hope you are as excited as we are about the letter from Pope Francis and his challenge to us all. We can all put fraternal love into action and help build a better world together. Thank you so much for joining our assembly. See you next time. Bye! Bye. Bye.